Gin, Jim, made a machine. And Joe, Joe, made it go. I, I blew a fart and blew the whole damn thing apart. Welcome to In Defense Of, making the case for overlooked, forgotten, or derided movies in five minutes or less. If you don't have five minutes, here's five seconds. Today, In Defense Of, Police Academy 4, Citizens on Patrol, 1987's middle entry in the goofy comedy franchise. Mickey! He's dead! Mahoney and the gang head up the Citizens on Patrol program, training civilians in law enforcement. Wacky hijinks ensue. That's it, that's the whole plot. What's the most underrated trait a film can have? For me, it's watchability. Derived from a film's pacing and engagement, watchability has little to do with technical aspects or production quality. Great films can rank equally at the high and low ends of the watchability scale. Think of it like this. If you can sit through a film and not once be bored or distracted across multiple viewings, chances are that flick is watchable. And the Police Academy formula is in the service of watchability. Every film opens with a loose police-related premise followed by a series of what are essentially fast-paced sketches featuring accessible broadly comedic characters, capped off with an exciting but not too exciting action sequence. If you're not enjoying a specific scene, wipe away those tears, a different character in a different situation is only a few seconds away. This constant forward thrust of unchallenging material equals watchability. So why have I picked Police Academy 4 specifically? Well, two reasons. Firstly, it's the one most appropriate for a defence. The series clearly declines with each film, hemorrhaging franchise regulars and jokes becoming progressively more anemic. Police Academy 4 is the last last entry that's acceptable for mainstream consumption. It's the last truly watchable one. That means the picture rides that just barely funny enough line. Not as funny as the first three films, but definitely funnier than the following three. Not that that's particularly hard to do. Really, it's just an easy watch. At the end of the day, everyone can enjoy slapstick and toilet humour, especially when it moves this quickly. The second reason is that Police Academy 4 is the hipster Police Academy movie. It features a ton of things before they were cool. Take for example quite an out of place sequence showcasing the Bones Brigade the elite pro skateboarding team in the 1980s. Apparently the movie has some rep in the skateboarding community as a snapshot of a very specific time in skating history. The same year the Bones Brigade released The Search for Animal Chin, a pioneering skate video that influenced virtually everything that came after. You might not be familiar with any of these guys, but you'll surely have heard of this angelic little cherub. His stature would grow in the following decade or so. He was the skateboard stunt double for a youthful David Spade, here one year prior to his joining Saturday Night Live and rocketing to superstardom. And that's Sharon Stone. She'd done a number of B-movies at this point, but would explode a few years later with Total Recall. You're probably familiar with the hockey mask and chainsaw trope, a somewhat overused reference rolled out when a horror movie proxy is required. I'm pretty sure Police Academy 4 invented this. The Blob did it a year later in 1988, Christmas Vacation in 1989, and The Simpsons wouldn't pay out the most famous iteration until 1993. Police Academy 4, you pioneer, you. Just like bringing in a hat! Wipe out my blade! I really need to change the name of this segment. I cover way more well-known films than I thought I would when I started this channel. The first five Police Academies all opened at number one on the US box office, so it's not hurting for an audience. Really, the question here is, why the bad reputation? Well, lots. Some of the humor in Police Academy 4 is so embarrassing to watch, it physically hurts. Not too sweet, just mm-mm good. I want to die. In this scene, a bird does a poo on some people. That's the entire joke. Three minutes later, a dog bites a man in the genitals. That's it. No setup whatsoever. This is the fourth outing from Mahoney, and while his cheeky, confident demeanor may have been appealing in early entries, it's worn out here. He's poochy at this point. Mahoney. Mahoney. Everyone loves him and we're supposed to too. Too bad the film forgets to remind us why. This lawyer character joins Citizens on Patrol and does nothing. He could literally not be in the film and we'd have the same movie. I'm confused about the whole Citizens on Patrol concept itself. How is it different from just hiring a new batch of police trainees like they do in Police Academy 1 and 3? The notion that as civilians they're not typical police officer material doesn't matter as the loosening of the enrollment requirements is the setup for the original movie. The entire concept that the film hinges on is lazily implemented at best. A dollar? Ten. 
and Chuck. Highlander 4 and Robocop 3. Both series started with an inventive original film that spawned huge, decade spanning but ultimately mediocre franchises. So did Police Academy. Did you know that there were two TV shows? These are the citizens on patrol of their respective bodies of work. Bad, but not without redeeming qualities. I think the human clothes make people more comfortable. The best Police Academy movies are probably about as good as the worst entries in contemporaneous comedy franchises. The worst are so bad that I only own them because they came as a set. Police Academy 4 is in the middle literally and critically. It's the kind of movie I'd enjoy as a kid on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon. An easy breezy 90 minutes with some familiar faces and poo poo jokes along the way. Watchability ahoy! Ever heard of Vice Academy? Made by the man who brought you Hobgoblins, the Vice Academy series was essentially sexy police academy. Apparently they were hugely popular on US cable in their day and as a result there are six of the damn things. Stars throughout the years included former porn star Ginger Lynn Allen and B-movie queens Linnea Quigley and Elizabeth Caton. Hey, they were all in Doctor Alien. That has to be sufficient encouragement for me to check out the Vice Academy movies, right? No. Police Academy 6 was directed by Peter Boners. 